<clears throat> Hi everybody, it's me, Jordan here, and today I'm going to do a video talking about somebody wants to beat you up. Now, this is kind of stupid, and primarily this stuff normally happens when you're at school. In school bullying, well, well, I'm just going to give you this example, Jordan says. It didn't happen to me at school. That's where some or most of people's bullying experiences take place there. Some, but sometimes it can also take place in other places. Well, mine it was in a neighborhood. Okay? Now, there was this person who liked to beat me up. Well, he didn't like to beat, well, the key word is, he would have liked to beat me up if he had a chance and opportunity. He may have fantasized about beating me up, but it never came to that. Um, some people, unfortunately, act like that the world has wronged them, and that uh, they have to take it out on the world, but unfortunately, the world's a big place, so they, they just, you know, decide to take it out on a short group of people. And I call the, there's the, people may give these people a, a lot of names. I call them, I'm angry, so you got to be angry with me. But, I don't know exactly what you would define these people as, but they're everywhere. And they usually, these people usually suffer from low self-esteem and some other issue. And they just think if they bully you or do this, that it will improve it and it never does so I'll be you know just walking down the sidewalk people say walking down the street but really you walk down the sidewalk if you have one and it'd be like oh so you're here again yeah Jordan's so I'm on the way to the park well you have to go through me do I really want to go through you yeah you do and I don't like your face. Well, if you don't like my face, that's way too bad. You know? I don't like your oriental face. Oh, so now it's turning into a racist thing, Jordan says. No, it's that the world wronged me. And now, because the world's a big place, I can only single out one person. And that's going to be you. If I ever see you again, I'm going to beat you up. Now... You might think to yourself, there is two things, there's many things wrong with that picture. Number one, doesn't he know assault? Don't, don't most people know that assault is a, is a crime? Yeah. Normally, yeah, assault is a crime. But think about all the assaults that get reported versus the ones that don't. For every assault case you hear, there's about a lot of them you don't hear about. Now, these people actually think that if they make you as miserable as they are, then it proves their point. Well, I don't really see how a double negative makes a positive. You know, I never really understood how that works. But to some people, it obviously doesn't work. Now, some people out there might say, how did you avoid this person? Well, if you're at school, it's very hard. If you're in your own house, then it's easy. But if you're somewhere, avoiding people is not an easy thing. If it's work or school, then forget about it. Avoiding people will not happen. But if you're in, I don't know, your neighborhood or whatever you want to say, then it's easier to avoid. But he got to remember, I was a young girl back then, Jordan says. I was a kid. I was a teenager. I did not have the privilege of living on my own yet. I did not have the privilege of, you know, voting at the time or even driving. I may have gotten my right to my privilege to work. I guess I might call work a privilege or a right. I don't exactly know. But I didn't have all the other privileges that could have gotten me away from avoiding this person. 
of course I always have the right to you always have the right to have yourself protected but this person just never got the hint so in other words I was a coward and growing up I never left I never ventured by myself because I was afraid to encounter him be like this well Jordan I told you that I don't like your face I guess you want to get beat up well don't you know that assault's a crime and if you punch me and I go down and I report this you could get arrested yeah but I hardly doubt that you are gonna tell anyone that I punched you um yeah I will tell that you got punched it Jordan says I will tell someone they assaulted you you don't think I'm that stupid not to report it now get out of my face the truth is Jordan said he never hit he never hurt anyone he just liked to get in people's face and confront them and threaten but the sad thing is threatening to harm someone is just as bad as actually doing the act and some of these people think that threatening they think that they think it can't they think oh you're just verbalizing but threatening is can get you in serious trouble as much as actually doing the physical act itself but no I never got beat up you know Jordan says and growing up I really don't know what happened to him I mean I basically he moved I don't know got arrested I'm not really sure what the case was but I never had a deal with him anymore I'm Jordan I'll see you later